Hello and welcome to the 48th video in this series for beginners programming in C. So here I've got our text.txt file that we had in the last couple of videos. And what we're going to do in this video in ch48.c, which uh, file which I've created here, we're just going to actually write rather than read to this text file. And there are a couple of ways of writing. One we'll look at in this video, the other one the next video, which is by string and by character. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to change this line here now to a num, and I'm just going to set down number 240, it doesn't mean anything. I'm going to keep our single car, and I'm going to make that a capital C. And I'm also going to make uh, an array of characters called my word, and I'm going to make four here, allowing for the null character on the end, and just let's say call this cat. And now what I want to do is I want to write the word, the single, and the num, to our text.txt file. So to write to a file, I still use fopen, I still use text.txt, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this r for read to a w for a write. And now what we actually need to do is we're assuming this file exists, so we have to make a test here before we do anything, before we actually do any operations with the file. In fact, we'll do it after our variable declarations. So I'm just going to delete this while loop out now. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if p to file is not equal to null, so if our pointer is actually pointing at something, it means that fopen did find the file. Otherwise, fopen didn't find the file and the file probably doesn't exist and in which case we need then probably to print an error to the uh, to, to the console so we'll just do that here actually so I'll just say print f and say file not found like so so at least the user if the file's not found knows that the file is not existing so we've got file not found but we know our file exists already in the directory, so it should find the file. And now what we want to do is we want to write to the file. And bear in mind that at the moment it has this hello, this is some text saved in a .txt file inside. So the way you write is you actually use something very similar to printf. You, you call fprintf, well, not f, so fprintf in this way. And now you want to say where you're writing to, so p2 file, we're writing to this pointer, what the stream that this pointer is pointing at, which is our file. And now we want to say what we want to write, and we do this with exactly the same formatting that we do with printf as well. So if we want to do the number first, then we'll do a percentage %d for a number, a percentage %c for our single character, and a percentage %s for the string for our word. And let's also append a new line onto there. And now what we have to do is specify our num, our single, and our my word. And that's all there is to it. And when I run this program, assuming I haven't made any silly spelling mistakes, and it compiles, then what we should see is the 40, the C, and the cat on one line inside our text.txt. So I'll just bring over the terminal and go for compiling. And now I'll just go for running. So the program's run. Now we don't see anything output-wise on the console here, but if I now go into our text.txt, you see indeed now the text has changed to 40c and cat. So we've overwritten the text that was in there. The other thing to note here is our file is actually two lines, because remember we put a new line character on the end of here, so now we've actually got a second line created. There's nothing in it, but the line is there. And that can be an important thing to remember when using new lines when writing to the file, depending on what kind of uh, data or text you're storing in your files. So if I now run this program again, but let me first of all just put our word as for a second time on here, and now just bring the terminal back over and compile, and I've forgotten of course to also put my word a second time in here as well. So bring this back over, compile, and run. So run the program and you'll see here that now we've got cat twice but you'll notice that we've lost our original line that was there. So we've overwritten what was there before. If we don't want to overwrite what we need to do is we need to change this w to an a which means that we want to append our text. So if I just bring back over the terminal here now, recompile the program, run the program and let me run the program just a few times here. 
And now let's see what we have inside our text file. And you'll see that now we've appended this line, the corresponding number of times that I run the program, into the text file. So that then is the end of this video, and that's a pretty simple explanation of how then you write formatted uh, strings into a file. In the next video we'll have a very quick look at how you do that using characters. So I hope that made some sense. Uh, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.